Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game. Today we're selling some lambs and hopefully buying a dog. Hopefully. <coughs> What's this? What is this? Well, I left my hat somewhere and this is my running headband that happened to be in the car. I used to do a bit of running. I can't get the trailer on. It's on an angle, so I can't get the bloody drawbar to drop. That looks better. That looks better. Oh, this is where this hairdo is killing me. Oh, some laugh, it's some laugh. As I often joke when we're having a hard day shearing, I say, don't worry. Soon will be dead, and the suffering will be over. <laughs> you're allowed to, you're allowed to make light of these things sometimes, folk. Don't be so miserable. It's all good. None of us are getting out of this alive. Love an early morning challenge. Bit of reversing. And the, the good thing is with my truck, I don't really need to watch the front because the bumpers, the bumpers already wrecked. Poor Fern's not used to an early start. She's done a naughty in the back of the bike. That's her fault for not giving her a little walk first. Right, more heavy lifting pulling. Well, it's not that heavy. It's not that heavy. Here we go, folks. Here's how trendy Marissa is. Look at this. She's got a coo shed hat on. Eh? That's the fashion these days. The fashion. Nobody's wearing a sheep game hat today. I'm a little bit close, actually. I'll go forward a bit. No battery in my key, so you have to push the key to the button. If anyone have a, if anyone has a pickup and their battery ever dies on them, that's how it goes. Try that. Now I've went too far, for God's sake. Oh, all the odds and ends here. Try that. I'm a touch embarrassed to say the last day we came and took those lambs for store. I've obviously missed half of this flock because there's a heap of those small lambs still here and god I wish they were sold <laughs> Look, tiny £57, £57, £57, £57 That's what we could have had Probably won't get that trade again, that was an exceptional day but Right, let's see if there's anything fleshy I'm not actually that sure looking at them mm. Great fun. Great fun. Kind of antibio an antibiotic spray, the expensive way to do it. This is tricky about me. So as always, we're just feeling the flesh either side of the backbone there. If you're unsure, or you feel the fat in the tail, I mean that one's borderline, it looks like a heavy lamb but I'm going to leave it. I've also got it, that's a new lamb, I'll leave it. It's a weather. It's not going to feel in my hand. Last little batch, I don't really think there's anything in here. Maybe that one. Just that one there. Mmm, maybe that one. Right, there's a, a few feet to sort and things there. So we'll just leave these pens set up and we'll come back and do that in a bit. Let's get these lambs to market. I don't know if you can see all the smoke coming from the truck here. This might be it. This might be it, it might finally go on fire. We might get a new truck. This is actually quite a lot of smoke. Well, I'm saying smoke. Is it smoke? Yeah, there's obviously something's burst or something's happened here. Trutch and boys have their music on. Cue to get in as well. Maybe that's a good sign. I don't know. What do you think of these? No, Cammy. No. The professionals are here. Oh, you're a wee bit aft. You're no bad. Thank God for the camera. Right, let's get these lambs out of here. 
Where I just put my hand on a lamb and I already don't like it. So I'm like, can I make it done? Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. Should I put them store? Should I sold them store? A mixed bag, a real mixed bag. Already I'm like doubting myself that this was a bad decision. Should I phone the lorry and get them all away store? I think there's a sale in two days, I think we might just do that. Come on! Come here! So we have a, a 20 week scan to I've got to be there for half past eleven. Lizzie won't know until she sees this back, but I just spent half an hour chatting to the boys. Uh, and that is the best thing about the market, like for me and for a lot of us, it's like your social, especially in the winter, it's, it's, it's a social. Like, I'm gonna go now and get a coffee. I'm, I'm already late, but I'm gonna go and get a coffee and a roll and I'll probably blether to other people again. And it's just all a blether. Um, blether to Andy Weir there. The, like, it's, yeah, it's just a big social event coming to the market. And in the winter, it's really important. Look at this. Look at this. Didn't even put the back door up right. Dragging it along. There we go. Oh, you that. Hey, the back door then. I did. I'm videoing. I'm videoing you. Now. Do you know what I was just saying? I says. I says the best thing about the market is it's just a social day out. Nobody does only work. <laughs> You'll just be going for a coffee now, are you? That's where I'm going to. I had a blather around there. I'm going in here for another blather. <laughs> Oh, you can't beat it, aye. but I do need to run now because I've left it so late. Hiya! Well, this is going to go mental. New NFU office in here. Here we go. How are you getting on? Oh, hello, how are you? Oh, not too bad, I tell you, I'm running late. I'm supposed to go for a scan and I've stood in Boyle for half an hour. Oh, no. I'm on prop Something fault. quick to do then. Yeah, well, no, pro I still want that panini. Can I get a che cheese meal? Cheese. Chicken, chicken, chicken meal and cheese panini, please, yeah. and a latte. Legend. And a, and a Empire biscuit. More socialising here. That's what it's all about. Just. Just. <laughs> right, I'm meant to be at the hospital at half eleven for a scan. Oh, the bad stuff. Can't beat it, boys. Can't beat it. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. Look at that. Wow. You know when they say like, a, you know, a relationship is obviously built on trust, absolutely. And in the big things there has to be trust, you know, whether that's about money or loyalty or something like that, that's fine. But see with the little things, like the wee white lies that are just to stop arguments, like for example, when I get here just in time, I think I'll be okay when I get there just in time. What I'll say to Lizzie was, there was a massive queue at the market, and I, I had to sit and wait and get, by the time I get dropped off and got there, I was there as fast as I could. And, and I think that's okay, but I'd love to know in the comments what you guys think. Is that okay? Are those little lies to avoid an argument okay? You know, it's a fine line, isn't it? Between like total honesty and keeping the peace. And I, I do like to keep the peace. Here we are, Cross House Maternity Unit. We're very fortunate we have a, a whole maternity unit in our town here. I have just abandoned the, the truck right at the door on the double yellows. But they're not very clear double yellows. So my conscience is clear. How lucky are we to have this right at home? And the big hospital is just over there. Lizzie, are we telling people what we're having? Are we telling people what we're having? Let's, let's just do it, eh? Okay, so just out from the scan and I, f I feel like I've won the lottery. I do, I feel like I've won the lottery. I really wanted a wee girl. Obviously, you don't mind either way, but we've got two boys. Nice to have a girl to complete the set, and um, apparently it's going to be a girl. Apparently. How are you feeling? Oh, it's good. I, I wasn't ready the way. So. You, think... Did you not have a preference? Would you not no, like to be girl? No worries. No. Lizzie kind of had a notion that it'd end up just having a team up like a five boys. boys. <laughs> so, but like Lizzie and the five boys, like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. That's the that's the way it was heading. But I wanted a wee girl because it's only the wee girls that look after their dad when he's <laughs> old getting... when he's old and wrecked. The boys will just be like, what's the cheapest home we can get him into? Mm -hmm. Whereas the girls will be like, oh, dad, I'll look after you. I'm so, so that, or not, potentially. If they're anything like Lizzie, then probably not. Hey. Just shoot, They'll just throw me in a home all the same. Yeah, some buzz. Right, mm -hmm. let's go and see this dog. Okay. Let's go. So here we go. Neil giving us a little demo of spot here. Better than the dogs you've got, let's see. 
Yes, anything, <laughs> most things would be the same. <laughs> It ends better on the dog than I. Good Meg. There we go. Straight recall back to your heel. No need to say that'll do 20 times there. Eh? On the whistle. Off he goes. Tremendous. So there we go, just like that, Lizzie. Someday it's been. 4,000 spent. Mm -hmm. 4,000 pounds spent on the dog. I, th I think it's the, worth it. Uh, it's the price you've got to pay for a good dog, I think. That you use every day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, he's two years old, you know, a bit of luck you get, you know, ten eight, ten years out of him. So, great investment and nice natured dog, up for a little clap, very friendly. Nice Angus wasn't good at the top. Yeah, not, not nice with Angus. Uh, put on a good show, so let's get him home and let you see him. Of course, got to say thanks, thanks very much to Neil Campbell. Shout out to Neil. Well kent, very well kent in the sheepdog world. Um, yeah, and Hamish Mitchell for putting us onto the dog as well. Another shout out. He's all kent, Hamish. He's a man. So we better conclude this video by talking about our lamb prices. The lamb price will be on the screen here for you from that sale. Now, that was £107 per head, the average, not the flashiest of lambs. And I should say, when you look at the average price there, we're getting caught up with the videos, but scanning has taken over my life. I'm struggling a bit to keep up, but the trade has boomed since then. So, yeah, I dare say if we'd waited a couple of weeks, we'd have got a lot more. And with regards to Spot, you can see a lot more of Spot in future videos. That was just a little sneak peek of the potential from there. I'm over on Nile of Aaron scanning. I'm just waiting to get the boat home to see the boys and Lizzie, of course. Thanks for watching this one, folks. Please do hit that subscribe button. Big things coming. We're going to have two to three videos a week coming very soon. I promise you. And it's not long to lambing. Some buzz. Cheers.